Hey, thanks for answering my call and coming over on such a short notice. I didn't know who else I can turn to. <sighs> There's a lot going on my mind right now. But, mm, first, let's get a drink. I can get a bottle of my wife's finest out of her collection for you. Great. Just make yourself at home on the couch while I pour you a glass. Here you go. And a glass of scotch for me. I'll just sit up close right here. <sighs> and take a big sip of this. Mmm. Good stuff. So the reason why I called you over here is because I had way too much on my mind and just needed to let out my stress to someone. Really, you have no idea how much it means to me that you came over here so we can talk. Lately, I'm not even sure why, but my wife's been on me more than ever and she won't stop. I don't clean correctly, I don't make the children's lunch right. I know she has a ton going on with her and her job, and let's not forget her family, but she takes everything out on me, and she won't even talk. Last week, I wanted the two of us to go on a beautiful date. And I asked my sister to take care of the children so the two of us have a nice dinner and make love for the first time in the last five months. I even bought her a new dress. This gorgeous red dress that would fit her body perfectly and show off her beautiful arms and legs. Anyway, she gets home, sees the setup, and goes off on me how she'll be the one to clean everything up. How she'll be busy after our dinner. She didn't even acknowledge the dinner, the flowers, or how beautiful the dining room looked. I really can't take this anymore. Nothing I do is right, and even though I love this woman with all my heart, I have been wanting a divorce, and the only reason why I won't is because I don't want my children to go through that. <sighs> but I have no idea what to do to fix our marriage at this point. She won't touch me, kiss me. She won't do any of the things she used to. Before we got married, she would write down these cute little love letters randomly. Now the only paper she gives me now are bills. Nothing I do is good enough for her, and I can't fix this anymore. Because it just seems unfixable. And the worst part is she questions even if I love her anymore. I tell her every day in the morning before she leaves for work, when she comes back before we go to sleep, and she always responds with, I don't believe you. Every time she says that, it feels like I just die inside. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean all of that. I just have no one to talk to about this. Thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding. It's hard for me to find someone who listens and understands. <laughs> now you're just trying to flatter me. Well, I appreciate the compliment. It feels nice to hear that from someone. Also, you know, when you haven't had a release for a while, stuff like this does tend to make you feel a certain way. <laughs> well, I won't lie. I did check you out before you walked in. I'd like to think you dressed like that just for me. Come on, if you didn't think I was a good-looking guy, would you have dressed up like that? Exactly. So, I know that you wore that dress that shows off your legs and thighs perfectly, just for me. Hmm. You don't mind my hand just running up and down your thigh like that, do you? Good. What if I just... move my hand a little more inside your thigh? Don't just nod. Use your words. Do you want me to move my hand inside your thigh? Good girl. Hmm. I bet you haven't been touched in so long, have you? What a shame. And I hadn't been able to use any of my hidden talents on anyone lately. We should change that, don't you think? How about you lie on the couch and let me take care of you? You've been really good listening to me. I should repay the favor. <laughs> I know, but I did say I had some hidden talents, and I would love to show you some of them. <laughs>